Today we're talking about spiritual bypassing. Stick around and let's get into it. Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome to The Wholeness Shift. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're already part of our community, welcome back. You know I love you. I teach people about easy, practical spirituality and intentional living, and I help you navigate your spiritual awakening. So if this is something that interests you, you like talking about chakras and pendulums and spirit guides and aliens and all the things, hit the subscribe button. I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. We just have a week or so left of the coaching sale. A lot of you have taken advantage of it, but I know there's still some of you out there who are wanting to but just haven't made the leap yet so until the end of the year all coaching sessions are only 99 dollars. there'll be a link in the description below for you to go sign up for those if you're interested and if you haven't signed up for our membership yet take advantage of that Um, I know some of you have had issues with finding the join button if you're using an apple device My question for you is this. I put a link in the description for the membership join page. See if you can go to that web address or click that link and see if that works for you. Tell me if that's a workaround that I found that's successful or not. But we're having so much fun over on this membership site. It's It's awesome to just be able to spend time with some of you guys and to improve these connections. And um, you guys can pick my brain and I can pick your brains and we we compare notes. And yeah, it's great. It's really great. I'm having a great time with it. And we have a good little group going so far. So if this interests you, go go check on it. Come join. You know, and you're not married to it. So like if you join and you're like, no, this really isn't for me you can certainly cancel that membership. But I think that if once you're there and we're actually spending time together, you're going to like it. You're going to like me. (laughs) Spiritual bypassing. Have you guys heard that term before or is this something that's brand new to you? I guarantee we've all experienced it. And some of us, most of us, probably have a bad habit of sometimes doing it. We've just never known that there's a word for it. So, what is it? The term was first introduced in the 1980s by this uh, Buddhist teacher slash therapist named John Wellwood. And in a nutshell, spiritual bypassing is the toxic trait of trying to stay positive all the time. It's where you really don't allow yourself or others to experience any kind of deep emotion or to work through their wounds, heal their traumas. You just want to whitewash it all and make it go away. It's thinking that you have to stay all light and love, peace, kumbaya, granola all the time. (laughs) It's not wanting to dive into the shadows, not wanting to experience those strong emotions like anger, fear, frustration, grief, etc. It's not wanting to dive into your own traumas because you don't want to go there. You'd rather just stay where the light is. Stuff it away. The problem is that spiritual bypassing is actually counterproductive because it doesn't allow for the exorcism and the healing of those emotions and all of that energy and all of those experiences that you've had that are causing blockages or barriers. It causes you to be stuck. It's like gum on the bottom of your shoe. And it inhibits any real and true healing that would actually bring you to more light and allow you to be more filled with light. Earth is unique in that as a human on this planet, you actually have access to this vast emotional body that most other places, if any places, have access to. Other places don't have this. They're on higher dimensions. They don't have access to this emotional body that Earth does. That's actually a special skill or a special tool that you get to use specifically when you're here on Earth. 
You get to use that to help you evolve, to help you learn lessons, to help you have experiences that you couldn't have in other places. It's like when you're playing a certain video game or something and you get to a level where you get access to some special tool or some special skill and you don't normally get that. And it's like, ooh, cool, I get to use it, but only here. As a human being, you're supposed to experience and feel your emotions. And when you don't, it wreaks all kinds of havoc in your emotional body and your chakras, which then spill over into your physical body and to all areas of your life. And when we're uncomfortable with our own strong emotions, we are sure to be uncomfortable with other people's strong emotions. Spiritual bypassing is really a defense mechanism. Now, what does spiritual bypassing look like? It can manifest in many different ways and in many different phrases and cliches that I guarantee you're familiar with. It's basically when you or someone else implies that either you or someone else is too attached to an emotion, a cause, uh, a trauma, a past experience, and essentially tells you to lighten up. Lighten up and let it go in order to keep the peace. Here are some examples. Everything happens for a reason. Good vibes only. Focus on the positive. I don't pay attention to politics, it's too dark. I don't see color. I don't see what the big deal is. All lives matter. You're too blessed to be stressed. Suck it up, get over it. Put it in the past. It's all part of God's plan. Let go and let God. They're in a better place now. Sound familiar? <laughs> I'm sure they do. Now, it's absolutely true that we should be striving to raise our vibrations and keep our hearts open. I talk about that all the time, and I stand by that. I've read some uh, people's opinions that even me saying that is a form of spiritual bypassing. But I disagree with them because I'm not telling you to bypass anything. I'm not telling you to bypass any emotions or issues or feelings. I tell you all the time to dive into them. Do the shadow work. Do the work. Acknowledge the feelings. Feel the feels. I've posted many a video on here where I'm experiencing, I'm all in my feels about something. You know, I'm, I'm experiencing grief or anger or frustration or empathy from someone else. There's all kinds of times that I post my feelings on here because feelings are something that you should feel. Like in the video I posted the day that Roe v. Wade was overturned. Ooh, don't tap into that energy, girl, step out of it. See, I'm spiritual bypassing right now, I'm guilty. <laughs> I will feel those feelings, I have felt those feelings, I just don't wanna feel them particularly in this moment when I'm filming. But if you've watched that video, you know that I was furious, I was livid, I was, bawling my eyes out. I was just, this righteous indignation was flooding through me. I was pissed. So I'm not asking you to bypass any of those feelings. Do the work. Acknowledge your feelings. Feel. Don't camp out there and just make that your identity though. Feel the feelings. Allow them to bring you what they're supposed to be bringing you in that moment and then let them pass. Feel whatever is coming naturally to you in that moment. Now, sometimes if the issue or the cause is still happening, it's an ever happening, ever evolving situation, it can be a little harder to put them away and move on. You know, issues like racism, misogyny and the patriarchy, homophobia, any of those, those big tough topics that especially right now in our place in time, we are dealing with as humans, that's really hard to put that away and move on from. And I don't, I think if you're a little star seed that's here to make some change, I don't think you're going to be putting that away. As long as that trigger is here, you're going to be feeling it. However, we can do the work and heal what needs healed so that we can get to the point where we approach these issues with a much more grounded, 
rational place of righteous indignation and we demand change versus raw, feral ferocity. Does that make sense? Breaking the habit of spiritual bypassing is just one more piece of the puzzle that we can put in place as humans to help us heal as a people. Let's support each other. Let's hold space for each other and not be so threatened by the deep emotions that we're holding on to or that we're experiencing. Let's do better for ourselves and for each other. Let's help each other to heal. Let's help this world to change. Let's do better. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about this, what your experiences are about this. And if you haven't yet, please hit the like and subscribe buttons because it helps me so much. And I know that a lot of you aren't subscribed even though you watch all the time. <laughs> please hit the subscribe button and know that I love you today. I'm really grateful that you chose to let me have a few minutes of your day and hopefully speak to your heart. Keep your heart open and I will talk to you soon. Until next time.